But teacher, Mom. this is oh, very, no. very, oh, very, gosh, very, this very, very hungry. Hungry. So, hot. so, so, but so, so hot. interesting. I think I'm I can very, very excited. Street. Have you seen or said those things there? I think you have. What if I say you can say those very same things, but avoiding the use of very? That's right. No using very. Check this out. All right, before we start this video properly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's very easy. Down there, there's a red button. Click on it and you already subscribe. Besides, there's another button with a bell inside it. Click on it too, so we can receive a notification as soon as I get a new video online. So we will watch my videos before everybody else. Okay, let's do that. Well, again, before we start it properly, grab a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil because we have a lot to write today so hurry up let's go okay today uh, i brought to you 12 advanced english words that will help to improve your fluency why am i doing this uh, there's a bunch of words in english we use associated with the word very and okay, it's, it's not a problem. It's easy though to use words with very. However, the English language is very vast and there's a lot, I mean a lot of words we can substitute the words associated with very. Let me give you an example. The, this is, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, two words that teachers used to say quite a lot. Very good. As soon as the student did a good job, you say, very good. But we can substitute very good for superb. So instead of saying, oh, you did a very good job, you can say, you did a superb job today. Well done. The next one, very bad, is quite the opposite. So instead of very bad, let's say horrendous or horrible. Let's imagine something like, oh, there was a very bad smell in my house as soon as I entered. So there was a horrible smell, a horrendous smell. Yeah, something got really bad into, into that. The next one, very big. Something very big, I don't know, maybe a, a building or maybe some food, I don't know. So very big. Instead of that, you say immense. Yeah, look, I saw that guy in the restaurant eating an immense amount of food instead of a very big amount of food. Yeah, and even, even with the, those two, if we say very big, yeah, the impact is, is huge. But immense has this, you know, incredible impact on your sentence. So you can really express yourself much better with that. Next one, very small. Instead of very big, very small. Very small, you can use tiny. Tiny, it's even very cute, yeah? It's adorable. Instead of very cute, adorable. Uh, tiny little things like a baby cat. That's tiny little thing. That's so, so cute and so lovable, yeah? Instead of a very small cat. So a tiny little cat. All right, next one, very hot. This is something I, I personally don't like, very hot weather, yeah? But instead of very hot, you can say boiling hot or scalding, yeah? Scalding, the, uh, there was this scalding weather when, again. Next one is very hot. Very hot is something I personally don't like when we talk about the weather, for example. I don't like very hot weather. But instead of saying, oh, there was a, uh, the day yesterday was very hot. Instead of that, let's say the day yesterday was boiling hot or was scalding, right? So instead of uh, repeating yourself using very for everything, substitute for those 
those two. There are two examples though. There are other words you can associate with that. Okay. Next one, very cold. I'm, I'm already happy with very cold weather. Yeah, I've been in a situation where the, the weather was very cold and I was a very happy person, right? If you, if you know a word that can substitute very happy, put down there in the comments. So for very cold weather or very cold food, very cold anything, you can say freezing. So it was a, a freezing weather yesterday. It was snowing. Yeah, so it was freezing. Next one. Very easy. Students normally, they tend to brag themselves saying, oh no, teacher, this is very easy. But if you know that it's very easy, you can say effortlessly. I know, it's quite a big word. It's a lot of things going on in my mouth. But if you feel any difficulty to say that, just stop the video right now and pronounce this word slowly. So effortlessly then you can speed up as soon as you, can, you say effortlessly, all right? So if you feel the necessity, stop right now and say it. Next one, very difficult, yeah? Normally, in moments of tests, students tend to say, oh, but this is very difficult, right? Due to the students is quite nervous about that. But very difficult can see complicated, it can be complicated. Some things can be complicated. Physics, for me, is quite complicated. It, even when I was in school, it was complicated. It is still complicated nowadays, yeah? Say in the comment if you think physics is complicated, yeah. Next one, very hungry. Some of us get very hungry before lunch. So instead of very hungry, you can say starving. Oh, Dad, I'm starving. Where's the lunch ready? Yeah, when? I, I really want to eat something. Okay, so instead of very hungry, starving. Next one, very interesting. Let's think about, I don't know, a book that you've been reading and the book is very interesting. And when you're saying to a friend of yours, oh, I'm reading this new book, this is fascinating. So instead of interesting, you say fascinating. It's fascinating, it's mystery, and there's a little of history inside, and there is this character that does this and does that. It's amazing, all right? Next one, very tired. Normally, when we get the end of our days, if we work too hard, as I have been working so far, we get very tired. But instead of using very, in very tired, you can say, I'm exhausted and I'm drained. Drained literally means that something has taken your energy out. So, drained. So, my energy was drained and I am exhausted. Okay? Then, very wet. Sometimes, we are not exactly prepared and we get a very heavy rain, a very heavy rain. If you know a word to substitute very heavy, put in the comments below. So, and we get this absurdly heavy rain and we get very wet. So instead of saying very wet, we say soaked. Soaked is that situation where you arrive in a place absolutely wet and you're dripping. The water is dripping. Or you put some something on uh, uh, inside, uh, I don't know, a can of water and when you take it out, the water is coming off. Yeah, this is soaked. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video as much as we have enjoyed making it for you. So if you have any doubts in English that we haven't talked about that yet here in the channel, but you would love to, please leave a comment below. Maybe the next video will be about your doubt, all right? And don't forget to subscribe the channel, to like the video and share with your friends. So, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.